Hello everyone, and welcome back to our favorite game in the whole world. It's time to continue on, trudging our way through the spiritual successor to the Clock Tower series. We're going back to Night Cry. Remember how Night Cry ended last time? Uh, Monica escaped from the Scissor Walker and the hallway that would never end, and uh, then we moved on to the next character. I believe the next character's name was Leonard, and the game crashed. So that's where we're starting from. I'm assuming it's gonna... That automatically saved when I ended that chapter, so... I'm gonna assume that. Hopefully it did. That seemed like that would have been a logical place for it to autosave. Okay, good, it did. So here's Leonard. So don't really know anything about him, other than... I had spoken to... these guys up here and it caused the game to crash well we're gonna have to talk with them again because all with the characters we've been encountering we had to speak with all of them multiple times and I'm sure that that includes these two so hopefully the game does not crash this time right so at this point in the game they know there's a mass killing uh, passages in the ship have been cut off between crew and Captain. There probably is more to say if we talk to him again. So far we have not met many of the cast. Apparently there is a large group of students who have holed themselves up in the shopping area. Right, same thing. I don't know if the students include Monica and her friends that we've seen. One of them, of course, dead. Killed by vending machine. Alright, so it was this guy. When we spoke to him, rather, after we were done speaking to him, the game crashed. Let's see if that happens again. Yes, it's Kobe the purser. Kobe helping out Professor Leonard with his shower. The shower was entirely too cold. Kobe helped him out, and Leonard owes him big. Right, we still don't know what's happened. Everything seemed to be okay when we started the game and Monica was leaving the party. Then everything just went south real quick. We don't really know what everyone else has been seeing. We know what Monica saw. Harry being killed by a vending machine. And then Monica being chased by the scissor walker. But we don't actually know what anyone else has been seeing here. Something in the distance. Well, the game didn't crash, so that's good. All right, I guess let's continue on and see what happens. Well, let's just shove that in our pocket. Oh, maybe we can't take it with us. I guess that would make sense. What would we do with a life raft, anyway? I mean, if we're not jumping off the ship right away... Whoops. Something I keep doing is I move the, the mouse off of the, off of the first monitor, and then that causes the game to, to minimize. Right, and there's this crane that we could manipulate the lifeboats with, but there there are no lifeboats. Hmm, where else is there to go? Well, let's see what this is. All right, it's another one of these. Uh, if you say so, Leonard, I mean, I don't really know what it is we're doing out here. Not too much to interact with. Should we talk with these two guys again? 
Okay, they do have something different to say. I guess we have to find his students. Hmm, so no one's taken the life rafts. They've just disappeared. So no one's actually gotten off the ship. We're all trapped here with Scissor Walker. Oh, that's right. Almost forgot about that. It actually would come in very useful for right about now. Uh, Leonard is the, uh, the supervisory kind. He'll tell you what to do and then stand off to the side and let you do it. No, go ahead. You don't need his help. I guess it's time to load after that... Thrilling gameplay. Oh, okay, okay. We're leaving the, we're leaving the boat. We are leaving the boat. Sure what's going on? But whoever is on that island probably knows more. What? So you think they're terrorists? Maybe. If they were, they probably would have made some kind of statement by now. Anyway, we should keep going. Okay. What What are we doing? Are we just leaving the boat? They did say that all the students and everyone were still on the boat. We're just leaving it because we saw a light. To take a look. You lot stay here. Won't it be dangerous? Someone needs to guard the boat. Well, we could end up stranded here. Don't worry about me. I'll be careful. As you please. Wait, did we just abandon everyone on the ship? Because we saw a light on this island, and surely whoever's on this island knows something about this. I feel like I missed something in that conversation. Yep. Looks like no one's here. Yeah, I guess they must have, whoever they are. I mean, I don't think either of them are going to want to re return to the ship. That's where the murderer is. Do they have anything else to say if I... Yep, talk to them more than once. As you do in this game. Hmm, itchy neck. Of course, we did see someone at the beginning who had an itchy neck. Alright. Let's go off and see if we can find someone to talk to. Don't know if Scissor Walker is going to follow us onto the island, or if they're staying on the boat. Hey, more rafts. I assume they're not from the from the ship. Since I guess we only had the one. Or did were these rafts from the ship? Did someone escape the ship and come here? Oh yeah, they're from the Oceanus. So yeah. Three three lifeboats. So people from the Oceanus did leave the ship and came to this island. And there are footprints going off this way. You know, Leonard's walking animation, only a little bit better than Monica. Only a little bit. Those arms are stiff as planks. Hmm, looked like it was, the footprints were going this way, but I'm not seeing anything. 
Turn this light on. Don't know if it needs to be on. I mean, the camera is zooming in right here. Kind of seems like there would be something to look at. So I'm moving my cursor around to see if I get anything, but I'm not getting anything so far. That's kind of weird. The, the camera is zooming in right here. And it looks like this is where the footprints were going. I guess I'll not go there. Uh, let's just keep, keep looking around. See if we find anything. We are leaving footprints in real time on the beach, so that is quite impressive technology. Yep, they're just going to stay here, stand guard, I'm doing a good job of that. Oh, I can't, uh, can't walk over here. There's an invisible wall. I mean, Leonard wouldn't want to go over here anyway. There's nothing, obviously nothing over there. And, you know, I'm not sure if these two are really needed to guard our, our raft when there are three lifeboats over here. Do I really need those two guys to gu guard the raft? Maybe they might be a bit more helpful if they, they help Leonard search. Maybe they might have some ideas on what it is we need to do right here. Do I have any tools? No, not really. I have the smartphone. What do I... Hold on, let me put that down. I could try calling people, but I don't... Th I think I tried this last time and no one picked up. All right, call isn't going through. We tried the SNS. See if we could post anything. Uh, I don't have anything to post now. Nothing interesting is going on in Leonard Cosgrove's life right now. Alright, so no items. I have the phone. Nothing else. The footprints come here. The camera zooms in. When I walk over here. The cursor is not turning into anything. And I can't walk forward you know I'm, I'm assuming you're not supposed to get stuck right here this seems a little early in the chapter to get stuck that seems to be where the camera is directing me though I mean I could go over here and the cursor really isn't doing anything over here Okay, so an action-packed thrill-a-minute beginning to this installation of Night Cry. The camera is definitely telling me to go over here. You cannot deny this is where the camera is pointing. Leonard's confused, and so am I. What does it want me to look at? Okay, bear with me here. I'm going to slowly move the cursor all across the screen. And I'm going to see if it changes into something that I can click on. Because it looks like there should be something right here that I should be able to click on. Because this is where the camera leads me and it stops right here. And I can't go any further. And this is where the footprints go. And there's nowhere else to go. Because I'm blocked by invisible walls. So it looks like it wants me to go here. But there's nothing apparent here. So I'm just going to move this cursor. Across the screen until it changes into something. It did not change into anything. It didn't... It did not change into anything. Can I, like, walk... No, no, the camera's not going that way. So I can't walk off that side. There's a stump right here. Like, it looks like I sh 
I don't know. It looks like they might be important, but I can't... It looks like the camera is leading me right here. You see that, like, dark area right there? Like, I can w walk towards it. It's, if I can point myself, point Leonard towards it. Oh, no, walk over there, Leonard. Come, Leonard. Okay, there we go. I can sort of light it up. It doesn't seem like there's anything noticeable in there. I mean, Leonard's standing in front of it right now. Hold on, let me turn around. There, okay. Do you see anything in there? It seems to be where the camera's pointing to. Uh, I'm assuming you're not supposed to get stuck right here. Is this, this seems... I'm like, here's the footprints, right? Right, they head towards the thicket. Okay, he's saying there must be a way around. Actually, that was a different message that we got last... Oh. Okay. okay. I... Yes. Yes and good. I had... I had to look at the footprints twice. Now the icon appears. Good and wonderful. Take your time, Leonard. It's not like there's a mass murderer somewhere around. Killing your students on the boat as we speak. Just take your time. There's no rush. You too, loading time. No rush at all. Okay, we made it. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I mean, oh, hey, there are people here. Hold on. Time to talk to some friends. Hey, what's going on? No! Stop! Hey, we made some friends. They're wearing some neat masks. Like, maybe they gave us a mask and we could join their club. And it's like a secret club. You get your membership mask. Alright, so is it, I'm, maybe this is a stealth segment. We have to avoid being spotted. Let's see if, uh, if that guy will turn around if we wait long enough. Yeah, he's moving his flashlight around. I'm going to keep mine off this time. And he's sort of looking in. Yep, okay. He's moving his light back. He's not really turning around, but he is slowly looking in different directions. So maybe now let's run across. Hmm, so are these the people from the ship? And if so, they went all Lord of the Flies in record time. Alright, let's see. You know, it just occurs to me, considering now we have encountered hostile people who want to murder us on this island, maybe we should go back and get those two friends that came with us. It seems like they would be more useful here than guarding the boat, since there are multiple boats. Anyway, it appears that we have stumbled into Resident Evil 4, which is... I, that would make me so happy if that's where we are right now, because that su su that's such a better game. Oh, Leonard! Such wit! We found the non-slip gloves. Hmm. 
Hmm, a gas stove. I wonder if we need to cook anything. Now hold on, can we turn on the water? Can I boil the water for some reason? Look, I think there's a lot, of, a lot about this island that Kobe did not know about. I mean, if Kobe knew that there were murderers on this island wearing masks, he probably would have, he probably would have thought against coming here. Well, I tried to pick up the, uh, the pot so we could boil the water, but it doesn't seem like I can do that. We're not going to look at it? No, nope, we're not going to look at it. Probably nothing interesting in there anyway. I guess it didn't work. Okay, I have to turn turn the dials. Did that number say 99 before? I don't know if that's what I'm trying to get to. Because it like really zoomed in and it had a 99 on it. Or, I don't know, maybe I have not seen yet what it is that... Uh, Maybe the notebook might say something about what frequency we have to use. Nope, we're still not going to look at it, because someone spilled coffee all over it. A man has to have standards, after all. Don't need that. Really? They have, the radio doesn't? The notebooks? Oh, all right. Oh, <sighs> memories of youth. We'll just steal this baseball. Oh, the the Nude Makers, my favorite baseball club. Nude Maker, of course, being the developers of the game. Oh, a phone charger. That's kind of out of place, but all right. I mean, we need it to save. And is the game going to tell me that I saved? Nope, it didn't. That's the nude maker difference. I mean, I don't think you can make too much too many in the way of assumptions about who's living here, considering who we've met so far. I don't think you have much of an explanation for the murderers wearing masks, Professor. Uh, all right, I guess. Is that everything? All right, that's right. Oh, I'm getting different text for looking at that a second time. Do I need to look at everything a second time? Oh, wait, I already looked at that a few times. I don't need to look at that again. I, I don't know which things I need to look at more than once, but it might be anything. I'm just going to guess that maybe the number has not been seen yet that we need. Okay, I didn't see this one yet. Hmm, 1950s, you say. Same thing? It doesn't look like there's anything else I can do here. I don't think the light is going to do anything either. Hmm. 
Do I need to look at anything more than once, is the question. Okay, no, this is the same thing as before. So I don't know if the, f the radio frequency that we need is going to be found in this cabin or if I have to leave, but since we've already looked around and this place is getting boring, let's just take a step out of the cabin and see if we can find anything else outside. We'll come back here if, we, if we're at a loss later on. So, I mean, at least this game has, you know, diverse environments. The entire first chapter... Hold on, there's a cave. Should I go in there? Or should I go this way? Let's try this way. Like, the entire first chapter was just, like, that, that one hallway on the ship. And you kind of get worried that maybe the entirety of the game is going to be... Oh! Ah, ah, <laughs> it's going to be like that. Um, and, uh, no, apparently it's not. We have, you know, this alternate environment. We're in this jungle. And Scissor Walker is not here. W rather, there are people wearing masks. So there are other enemies. Other things that can kill us. And we have, uh, you know, other playable characters. That's not, not just Monica. So there's a, you know, there's a bit of variety here. It looks like there's someone up there. Hmm, do I want to go that direction? Let's take a look at the right and see if there's anything less deathy over here. Alright, it's letting me go this way. Don't know if this is the right way or if I should have tried the other. Oh, this I guess this is a dead end. So at least that answers that question. There are whole people in there. We'll help them out. Sawny Bean Clan? I have not heard of the Sawny Bean Clan. Alright, there are people in the hole. I mean, can I, like, give them anything? Do they want to play baseball? No, I cannot. Do they want, uh... Do they want sticky gloves? They don't want the sticky gloves. I don't think there's anything around here that I can click on. Alright, so I found some people in the hole. I don't know, it seems like they probably want some help. I don't know why we're calling them monsters right off the bat. Uh, so let's just remember that there are some people down there that kind of need to get pulled out of that hole. If we find the means to do it. Right now I'm going to turn this off. Because I think that we're going to have to sneak by. Let me turn it back on, actually, because I can't see where I am. All right. So we're going to have to sneak by this guy up here, it looked like. Don't have a good look at him, though. All right, now I do. Nope, keep moving. All right, what's over here? What a good idea. Oh, okay, we're going to throw the baseball at it, right? All right. So, I guess... What? No, 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 no. So, I guess... What? No, I need to stand up... No, no, don't go... I have to walk over there to see him. Okay, now run. Now run. Okay. So that's why we can see that. No, no, stop. Don't go. No. Uh, don't walk over there. 
Just stop walking. Please stop. Please stop walking. Leonard, please stop walking. All right, that's why we can see the gong from this distance. It's because we can take this baseball out. Throw this. Leonard, where... Yes, that's... Leonard? Are you going to throw it? Old Leonard, that wily dog. That guard will never figure out what happened when he looks at the ground and sees a baseball down there. I don't even know where we're going. What are we trying to find? It's like we came to this island because Leonard said, Surely whoever's there must know what's going on. We came here and we found the lifeboats. Is there anything over here? And then we also found people who want to kill us really badly. So I'm not really sure... ...why we're still here. What are we looking for? Well, mystery solved, Leonard. I guess we can just head back to the beach and go back to the ship. Oh, they're wiggling people over that fire. That's pleasant. Because, I mean, Scissor Walker might be on the ship, but Scissor Walker is only one supernatural being, as opposed to here, which is just like a whole bunch of people. And, uh... Hold on, I think I walked too close. Yep, I sure did. Huh? What? No, no! No! Stop! This seems like there's only one death animation for Leonard, though. Which is not as interesting as Monica. Monica had a bunch. Including, of course, Death by Dryer. Leonard, I'm gonna guess Leonard doesn't have anything nearly as interesting as that. Alright, at least we're starting, let's see... Starting from here... Alright, so now we can take the baseball out... Just get this over with. Do it, Leonard. Alright. So I thought there was another... I thought I saw another direction we could go. Besides, to the bonfire of death. So, we'll try that. Again, not entirely sure why Leonard wants to stick around on this island. He doesn't have to. Or even go back to the beach to, to get reinforcements. He has two people here with him. Alright, let's see. It looked like we could go to the left. What happens when we do that? Hmm. Guess we can't open this. Oh, no, hold on, there's something there? Yeah, we can open it. Okay, never mind. Hmm, do we have to dress up like them? It's really not the time to be an art critic, Leonard. Oh, same thing. I wonder if I have to break the face off and use it as a mask. I don't really have anything I could use to do that with, though. Well, okay. There's a phone charger next to the candle. 
You'd think they'd be able to get a desk lamp or something if they have a, an outlet in the cave wall. This this game goes at a pace, doesn't it? It's a just a, a very shuffling, sauntering pace. Okay, there are different uh, different names on this one. X Warzone is not on this one. So some people were saying that maybe the names on the list were backer names, and that seems that seems plausible. Because what else would these be? What other use do they have? Do you want to look at it, Leonard? I mean, Leonard seems... There's a lot of stuff on these shelves, Leonard. Why are you looking at that one in particular? You're calling it a plastic container. That seems like a gas can. Why are you looking at these things in... It's not, you're saying there's nothing out of the ordinary, Leonard. But you're looking at it. Like, there's all these shelves with stuff on it, and you're not looking at any of them, but you're looking at the can, and you're looking at the candle. And you don't think there's some, anything at all interesting about them. Nothing interesting about these cracked boards. This mirror looks fancy, though. Oh man, look at that low resolution reflection. All right, I can't, okay. Should I should I break it? I mean, there's nothing I have I could break it with. Is, is anything here important, Leonard? Oh, hold on. We got ourselves a mask. Those people I saw along the mountain pass in the caves were wearing this mask. This one is split in half, though. I can't use it. Well, can we at least pick it up and take it with us? It looks like we're being summoned over here. Okay. Did it really have to draw it out that long? You didn't even give me the dead end this time, Nightcry. So I wonder how I was supposed to avoid that. Maybe I shouldn't look at that yet. Maybe Should I not look at it yet? Because there is no way to actually avoid it if I was coming down this hallway. Um... All right, let's just try it one more time. Let me interact with the items around here, everything that I can before I get to the death point, and see if there's something that I need to do. Mountain pass and the caves were wearing this mask. Maybe there's something I need to click on before I actually get there. I can't use it. Because there's a ghost in the hallway. The ghost is mad at me. I don't know what the ghost wants. How do I appease this ghost? All right, let's click on the mirror. Nothing. I mean, I can see it. It's there. So I can see where it is. Click on that. Did I want to do that? Okay, what? Are we good? I still hear the thing. It 
Leonard, is the Death Ghost still in here with us? Leonard, I know you're fascinated with the culture. It's not really the time. Because I still hear it. And you shattered that mirror and said, okay, like you did something. I don't know if you did anything, Leonard. I'm just going to take a look at everything I can going up this hallway, just in case there's anything that's of interest. Because I don't know if the Death Ghost is still there, or if we killed it by shattering the mirror. Okay, the music stopped, so maybe Death Ghost is gone. I'm walking down the hallway. Okay. Now, Leonard, how did you know that that would kill Death Ghost? I'm not sure why you were so confident of this. I can't seem to do anything with this statue. And can I not... I can't pick up the mask, either. No, we have to find the other mask pieces before we can fix this mask. Oh, hold on. I didn't click on that. Got to really got to move the mouse over everything. Except they're empty. Anything I missed? I don't think we can take these clothes with us. Maybe if we assemble the mask, we'll be able to put them on. What's that? So th that's probably just the thing that it's hanging up on. All right, I guess we're done here. We did a whole lot. We got a lot done in here, Leonard. You and me. Well, I'm going to assume that we can't just walk up to the, the to the bonfire, to the gathering of the cult, because we don't have a mask. We're not disguised as them. So I'm, I'm guessing that's off limits to us. Was there any other way to go? You know, I didn't really think I would say this, but I think Monica's chapter was more interesting than this. I really don't like saying that, but I think I think I'm I'm a, I'm a bit a bit more bored playing Leonard's chapter than I was playing Monica's, and. I'm going to assume that we just can't do any... I can't, I'm going to assume we can't just walk anywhere up here. I can't... Nothing... My cursor is not giving me any prompts. Len, what, Leonard? Leonard, why are you not walk... Leonard, can you not walk back into that cave? Leonard, that... Don't tell me you can't walk back. Oh my god, Leonard. How could you not walk back to... We just came out of there. I'm clicking the bottom of the screen. Leonard, you're... How, are, are we, can we really not leave this scene when we're in it? Why can't we do that? What, what reason is there for us not to be able to go back? Especially if... It's just death up ahead. And look at look at Leonard doing that little shaky leg thing. He's trembling. He's so scared, knowing that these people up here are gonna kill him. Alright, let's turn the phone off. Since we can't go back, I guess. I don't think there's any alternate paths. I think I just have to walk up here. Can I stay on the edge? Oh, am I, am I actually doing it? Can I actually stay on the edge here? Leonard does live on the edge. No, don't, no, don't go. Oh, Leonard, 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 Leonard. Leonard, can you walk to the foreground? To the left? That looks like a place you could... Leonard. Oh my god, Leonard. You cannot walk... You really can't walk that way? Okay. You think any direction would be okay as long as, as it's away from these people. 
Alright, I hope no one's looking in this direction, because I can't tell. <laughs> what is this camera? Why is the camera like this? Oh no, I clicked off the game. Why would I be able to walk over here what, if the camera's going to do this? Do I have to walk towards the, the fire? Okay. This seems like a terrible camera angle, but I can look at... I can... What can I... That icon appearing... What was that? I guess I can click on this. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to walk over here. I'm going to walk towards this bonfire. I'm going to do that. Hey, everyone. What a night for a sacrifice, am I right? What's going on? It's your pal, Professor Leonard! Oh my god! That worked! Are you kidding me? Why am I not dead right now? <laughs> Why is Leonard still... Okay, now they noticed him. <laughs> oh, Leonard, you had this coming. You you should have known you were going to be noticed. <laughs> you should have tried the half mask, Leonard. You should have just put the half mask on and, and see if that worked.